Hello Righteous, welcome to 365 Days of the Righteous, your daily dose of righteousness consciousness, day 37. Psalms 35 verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad, who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. We are not rushing through this verse. We are taking our time to let it sink. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word, by hearing the word of God. God's word is God's will and faith begins where the will of God is known. We rounded up yesterday's broadcast with the question Jesus asked in his teaching on the subject of prayer. In Matthew 7 verses 9 to 11, he said, You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask you for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who ask him? We also said one of the reasons we want the very best for our children is simply because they belong to us. In the same way, God wants the best for you because you belong to him. In fact, we got that trait from him because we were created in his image and in his likeness. Hallelujah. We also ask the question, if the reason you are not asking is because you don't realize that you belong to him. You belong to God. Because you have accepted God's way of making people right. You have been purchased by the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. And you have been adopted into the family of God. You now belong to him just as Jesus is the son of God. James said in James chapter 4 verses 2 and 3 that you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. And even when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. Can you begin to believe God to prosper based on what brings him pleasure? The scripture we have been reading for three days now establishes the truth that one of the things that brings God pleasure is your prosperity. Again, a major reason why we want our children to do well is because they belong to us. Just like our Heavenly Father wants us to do well because we belong to Him. Another reason we want our children to do well is because they are a reflection of us. I was a teacher for a few years after my high school and during my breaks when I was in college or you may call it the university, depending on what part of the world you live in. At different times, I taught all the way from preschool or nursery to high school. As a teacher, I can almost always tell what, what kind of home a child is from, particularly those in early stages of elementary because they don't yet know how to put a mask on what's going on. I won't say more than that so you don't begin to suspect those who do the marvelous job of teaching your children. Anyways, your children are a reflection of you. In the same way, we are to reflect our Father. Whatever is going on in our lives is potentially a testimony to the kind of Father we have. Jesus said it's the good shepherd. You can tell if a shepherd is good or not by the way the sheep in his flock look, not by the way the shepherd looks. When you say God is good, the world around you is not looking at the God they cannot see. They are looking at you who belongs to him. John said, if you do not love your neighbor whom you can see, you cannot love God whom you cannot see. In the same way, the people around you are not necessarily looking at what they cannot see. They are looking at what they can see. Man looks on the outward. It is God who looks on the inside. You know, but we are dealing with men. So we, we also have to care about what they see on the outward. I know that's a touchy subject for some people, majorly because of the deceptions of religion and how we tend to mask up things in the name of spirituality. This is so simple. You need a, a preacher to help you misunderstand it. God has pleasure in your prosperity. And not one of the reasons is because you are his agent, his method of showing the world that he's a God of love. He's a good God. He's a faithful God who is committed to the well-being of those who belong to him. Are you willing to be God's hands and feet? Are you willing to favor his righteous cause of bringing and adopting many millions and millions of more sons? 
Are you willing to be a channel through which he reflects his character to the world? Will you like to bring pleasure to your father or you just don't care what brings him pleasure? Are you like, oh, he's God. He should sort out himself. Well, he cares about you and your prosperity brings him pleasure. Your prosperity brings the light to the Lord. I'll read that scripture to you again. Let them shout for joy and be glad. Who favor my righteous cause? And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. Who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant? I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow.